What's up, YouTube? It's your coach. Day four of being quarantined or social distancing or staying in the house. Got this video for you guys. Number one, can't thank you for the subscriptions. I looked here, 98% of you guys ain't subscribed. Subscribe to your coach so I consistently give you love. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for any acknowledgement. Thank you for caring again for you kids for your kids sports got my boy Nick Alvarez here this is right before the virus got us all locked in so we don't have an after thing but this is us talking about how to break in a pitcher's glove what makes a pitcher's glove different how guys are holding the glove today a lot of interesting information we wanted to share with you guys Please, any questions? The catcher's glove is coming. The problem is, because of all this stuff, Rawlings has it on hold. So we'll get the glove someday and do that famous catcher's one that I've been promising you guys. Without further delay, here we go. How to break in a pitcher's glove. Day four of being quarantined. Let's go. Nick, you sound like a science major, man. How are you in science at school? A, not very good, but, but you know, it, it's like everything in life. You become passionate about something, you know, you learn to love it and, and you're interested in learning about it. I wasn't much into science, but man, love baseball. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula in chemistry. What's up, everybody? It's your coach with now the YouTube famous Mr. Nick. Alvarez, he's breaking in gloves now all over the country. Nick, today, what do we got? We got a pitcher's glove, and, and the, uh, the reason this is a pitcher's glove is, is basically the, the backing. The web of it, you see it's a closed web. Most pitchers go with a closed web for a couple of different reasons. One, when they get hold their different pitches inside their glove, they don't want the opposing hitters to see what's going on. A lot of times, if you see a lot of white, that means it's a fastball. If you see the fingers, it's going to be an off speed. So when you see a closed web like this, this is a pitcher's glove. The side, Repeat that one more time, Nick, because that was good information. Yeah, so whenever you see a closed web glove, that's primarily a pitcher's glove, okay? And they do that more than anything to hide the ball. To hide the ball and you know, get them, uh, hide their face a little bit, intimidate the guys. If you see too much ball on a glove that has the, the typical traditional webbing, it's usually a fastball, or if you see the fingers, it's gonna be off speed. So that's why the, pic the pictures go with a, with a closed web. Now the reason that infielders don't go with closed webs is you wanna have your glove with some kind of, of, of webbing where you can grab the ball good. You know, that's why the, the H-Web, I-Web, T-Web, and all that is ideal for infielders and outfielders. And then pitchers, again, close web to hide the ball and hide that mean look that they have on their face. So that's it. So the first thing we're going to do, like always, is we're going to put the, the glove in hot water. You can do this in your house or you can do it in a gym. The reason we do it uh, with hot water is to soften the leather so we can manipulate it a little bit. Uh, better again leather is very resilient don't be scared about wetting it we have a system to dry it out really really quick we don't submerge it in water we simply just put it under water until the glove changes colors a little bit and then we'll go ahead and start manipulating let's go ahead and do that now so I'm basically just wetting it here if I see it changing colors a little bit Starting to get that dark color. A couple of more spots left. And basically that's it. As you can see, it has a darker color. There's some dry spots where you can tell the original color and then you see the, the darker color. The first thing I like to do is, I like turning the glove inside out. Again, this glove is gonna be a special gift, so I'm not even gonna take off the, the wrappings off it. So what I do after I turn it inside out, the toughest thing to break in is what I call the ridge, which is this part of the glove right here, the ridge. So I turn it inside out and I just start playing with it. Manipulating it a little bit, 
getting that soft. For young athletes, that's the toughest part to break in is that ridge. So I do it for them. Just by going up and down, up and down, until it's broken in. Then I turn it back normal and I keep on attacking the ridge. Okay, as you can see now, that ridge here is a lot softer, real easy. Now what I'm gonna do is, I personally like deep pocket gloves. That's a personal preference. I'm gonna tell you why I like deep pockets. The way the game is being taught now, Everything is one hand. From infield ground balls to outfield play, first base, everything is one hand. So if they're teaching and emphasizing more on the one hand, I want that deep pocket where that ball kind of gets lost in there. So I get a mallet. Uh, my mallets break, so I have a buddy of mine that made me this steel mallet. And the reason that, that it's important for me to have a steel mallet is because what I do to make the pocket First of all, I, I identify where I want the pocket to be. Once I see where the pocket is, that's a perfect pocket right there. Right there. Now I'm gonna hold it right in here and I'm gonna start beating it into the ground. Since the, since the leather's wet, it's gonna start expanding out this way. Kind of create, creating like a, like a camelback. You can do it with a regular mallet, but they start breaking, so don't worry about the steel mallet. That's a side business that we'll get into soon. But you can find these mallets at Dick's for about $8, and they'll last you at least three to four gloves. So again, I'm gonna keep on making that pocket. See that real deep pocket right there? Nick, like where, where is it? Like right there, is that where you want it? Yeah, so, so it? I call it I call it the U. So right in here is where kids should be catching the ball. Not inside the web, definitely not in the hand, but inside the U. So when I put my, my glove on my hand, I kind of figure out where my U's at, which is right here. Sorry. And that's basically where I'm gonna put the mallet in right there, okay? So I want that to be really deep. Now with a deep pocket and this here, this gloves brand new, it's already playable right here. After I dry up, it's 100% ready, but again, I'm gonna keep on emphasizing on a deep pocket. I might even put it on the ground, soften those fingers up a little bit. Yeah, that's a pretty glove right there. So the next step is gonna be the drying process. So before I put it to dry, again, I created my pocket. I'm gonna put the ball there. I'm gonna try and beat it into the ground to see if I can create this camelback a little bit more. And now I'm gonna put it to dry, okay? Now, we use the car system. Uh, I like the heat inside the car because it, it, it dries up the gloves really quick. Basically, when it's done in the car after a few hours, this glove's gonna be ready to go. Nick, if you're up north and you can't use the car, any other options? Okay, so most important thing is to keep this, this hinge right in here and keep this shape right in here. You can put it under a bed, anywhere where it's gonna put some pressure and maintain that, that little camo hump that we created. We definitely want to create that. The good thing about the windshield is that if you pinch it in there, it keeps this tight in here and it holds that little camo hump that we want while drying the glove out. Nick, yesterday you mentioned something about the hands of catching with the fingers. Can you elaborate on that? Okay, so growing up, you know, uh, I remember I was taught that, you know, you put all five fingers in all five slots and then you pop off this finger right in here, you know, not to get beat. But what's going on right now, mostly, uh, you know, my brother plays for, for the Marlins. He's in big league camp right now. He's telling me that 99% of all infielders from Altuve to uh, Correa to Javi Baez, they're all putting two fingers on this side. Guys, go home, get a glove, put all five fingers normal and see how it closes, kind of funny. And then put two fingers together and you're gonna see how it closes like this. You know, the old school guys were, yeah, but you feel the ball like that. You don't feel it like that. But the, the truth is, I don't feel it like this. I feel it with a glove. And I need the glove to close finger to finger. 
you know, which will be ideal. So by putting two fingers out here on the pinky side and just shifting all the fingers over one, now you're gonna have a bigger U, bigger sweet spot to catch the ball, more pressure on the outside, so that glove's gonna close finger to finger a lot easier. Got a little bit of a crowd here. Tino, say what's up. Shout out. Thank you. Hi. All right. All right, Nick, give us the breakdown here. Let's get. Okay, so the big thing here with the windshield is it holds it in place. Not only does it hold the, the hump that I created in the back in place, it holds the pinky and the thumb nice and tight. And with, uh, with the magnification of the, the glass and the sun, in two hours, this glove's gonna be completely dry. Now, once it's dry, I'm gonna pull it out, play with it a little bit, stretch it out, and just beat it with a mallet, and that glove's ready to go tonight for a seven o'clock game. And we started this process at 2.30. Nick, you sound like a science major, man. How are you in science at school? Uh, not very good, but, but you know, it, it's like everything in life. If you become passionate about something, you know, you learn to love it and, and you're interested in learning about it. I wasn't much into science, but man, love baseball. All right, good answer, good answer. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm glad this is helping some of you guys out again. The Catcher's Mitt is coming soon. Don't panic, we're only at day four. All this is mental. Like, subscribe, comment. This is gonna make all this go fast. The more we do, the faster time flies to get back to normality. It's your coach, love you guys.